Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is pretty special. So my sister, she was recently studying abroad in Japan and she just got back a couple of days ago. And she was so kind and sweet to bring me back some lovely gifts from Japan. I just wanted to share them with you guys. So first up, which is <laughs> kind of funny. So um, she bought me this um, blind box of a Rilakkuma Remit set. Now, just a just a couple videos videos ago, I had just purchased this set, and I was just telling her the story about how I end up how I ended up getting this set. Um, so, uh, to make a long story short, I guess I was conflicted between this set and another set, but the other set was currently on back order so I had purchased this one instead and come to find out she saw it also they had a I guess a big display of the full remit set in Japan and she saw it and she thought I would love it and she was right because I do <laughs> but it's cool I don't mind having an extra it was really thoughtful of her to um get me anything so I'm still appreciative that I was able to get something from her and this is perfect still um and I'm actually going to open this one up to see which one I got so um, I guess I might need some scissors first. Okay, scissors have been acquired. <clears throat> and yeah, like I said, it's cool to have doubles because um, I eventually, um, you know, there's a couple of pages on Instagram that I follow with uh, Remint and um, Nindroids and stuff. And people use uh, their Remints to create little scenes with their Nindroids that I thought was pretty cool. So I might take up one of those ideas. So, okay, cute. It looks like I have the bread one. Super cute. And they all come individually pieced um, in, these, in the plastic here. Oh, so... Here's the cute little Rilakkuma shaped bread and this is like the honey that goes over the bread that like gets dripping and uh, here's a pan and like a little piece of like cake or maybe a pie or something <laughs> and here's a little Rilakkuma maybe like honey jar and like there's a lid and it's a cute little fork and the tip of it has a Rilakkuma shaped head and then on this one is a plate and another piece of Rilakkuma shaped bread. So this is super, super cute. I really, oops, kind of low. <laughs> so this is what the whole thing looks like. Super cute. I love this. Super nice. And the little pamphlet uh, just looks like this. And here's what this, like one of the scenes would look like with the items. Super cute. So absolutely love that. So thoughtful. And the next, I'll just put that right there. The next item was so cute. <laughs> okay, so this is a Rita Kuma themed McDonald's toy as well. And um, I follow some other, you know, Japanese otaku anime pages on Facebook and things like that. So they were, um, for a limited time in Japan only, uh, the McDonald's Happy Meal toys were all Rita Kuma themed. And there was a whole bunch of different ones to get. And, um... She happened to get this one, and it's super cute. And it's like, you know, there's his hand on, like, some honey and a stack of pancakes. And it just is a little uh, swivel thing right here. And it just makes him spin around. Super cute. And I love that it's, uh, like, a bee-themed. <laughs> so cute. And the honey is, like, in his hand. And there's the back of his wings. And the base is just pink. Super, super cute. I absolutely love this. I think this is like the favorite, um, like the best design that they had. So I'm really happy that this was the one that she ended up getting, which I personally think is the nicest one. <laughs> I would have been happy with any of them, obviously, but still super nice. Okay, and next, which is so cool. Okay, we're both huge Detective Conan fan or Case Closed, the English version. And this is Conan's wristwatch, if anyone's familiar with the show. And it has like a little tranquilizer. That's what he uses to knock out Richard when he takes, when he solves the case. And this one has like a little laser beam off to the side. And it's actually, um, it's supposed to be a working, like an actual working wristwatch. Um, not one that shoots out tranquilizing darts, but, um, you know, the little functions that it's supposed to do is supposed to work. So that's pretty cool. I haven't opened it yet, but that's, you know, it's really cool. I really like this a lot. So that's really awesome. 
put that there. And the next item <laughs> is Conan's bow tie. And it's supposed to be an actually an actual voice uh, changing bow tie. So that is like super cool. Um, I'm not exactly sure how to work it. I'm sure I could figure it out though because I've seen the show. <laughs> but yeah, so it has um, different types of functions, voice changing functions, I guess, right here. I don't read Japanese. Um, she knows Japanese, but I forgot what she said. <laughs> but even still, this to have this item period is still pretty cool. It's an actual working bow tie. So that's awesome. I can probably cosplay as Conan now. Crossplay as Conan and I have his part of his outfit. So that's really cool. And the next thing is some candy. Not only is it candy though, it's candy in reference to the movie Crave of the Fireflies. And if you haven't seen it, um, it's a good movie, but it's also a tragedy at the same time. It's incredibly sad. But uh, the little girl in the movie, she eats candy like this. And that's what that's what's in here is the um, fruit flavored candy. And I guess there's like a chocolate flavor and I think a yogurt or something like that. And the rest is just fruit flavored. But yeah, the movie is a Studio Ghibli film and it's incredibly sad. It's a good movie and I've seen it literally once and I remember the movie too well. I don't think I can watch it again. And I'm someone who's sappy and loves to cry in animes. <laughs> but that movie I cannot watch twice. So, moving over to a lighter note. I got something Betty Boop, which is so cool. I'm also, aside from anime, I collect Betty Boop. Um, Betty Boop was actually the first thing I started to collect. And she saw this lovely little Betty Boop pouch. And the back looks like that. And open it up. She got me some more goodies. So, I got a Betty Boop pen. And it's one of those uh, multicolored pens. So, I think it's black, red, and blue. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So, that's really cool. I write a lot for work. So, that's actually really awesome. And it's actually useful <laughs> for me. And this one is a pencil, which is super cool. And it has this lovely little Betty Boop charm there at the top. Which is really nice. I love this a lot. And next is a little keychain. Which is super cute. I thought it was a eraser at first. But it's a keychain. And it has Betty and Pudgy there. Super nice. I actually really like this keychain a lot. And it has one of those uh, like more sturdy type of hooks. Well I think these ones are. These hook designs are more sturdy. But still super cool. And next. It's not Betty Boop related. But I just put it in here. This was a limited edition um, item that you could get in Japan only for the movie that came out for Detective Conan. And it was called The Crimson Love Letter. And this is like a coin, a gold coin. I don't know if you can see the writing at the top, but it says Detective Conan 2017 and The Crimson Love Letter here at the bottom. And that's super cool. And it's Conan and he's like kind of adjusting his glasses. That is, this is like so nice. I feel like it's going to go into like my grail section of items. <laughs> and the back just looks like this. And right over here it says the Crimson Love Letter again. And then just underneath it says Detective Conan. So that was that. And the next lovely item in here is... I'm obsessed with Nana, as she knows, in anime, and she got me the choker that one of the Nanas wears in the anime, and it has the lock with an R engraved on it for Ren. So that's really cool. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. There it is. So that is really cool. I actually thought about cosplaying, cosplaying this Nana before, so we'll see. Now I have an accessory for the cosplay, so maybe. And the next item is a Betty Boop notepad to go with my pen and pencil. And the back looks like this. I absolutely love this print of Betty Boop. I thought that was super cute. And notepads are also really handy for me because I use a, I do a lot of writing and things for work. So this is really useful. And the next little fun item <laughs> is a hammer. And the reason why this hammer is so funny is because it reminded her of the hammer that Sana Karada used in the anime Kadocha, which is a long um, 
not long, an old anime. Uh, yeah, so this is really cool. Colors are a little bit different here than the one that she used, but it's pretty much identical. <laughs> so this was super cool. I actually really, really like this a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that's real fun to have. And there's like a little uh, hole here if you wanted to hang it or whatever. But this was like really, really funny. She totally thought of me when she saw this because of how much I love Kadocha also. So that was really nice, really fun. And the next item here is a cup. I got spoiled. <laughs> okay. And it's also Detective Conan. And this is a cup themed from the movie as well. They had a specialty gift um a specialty gift shop <laughs> uh, when the movie premiered in Japan. I'm not sure I mentioned that um, about the coin. But yeah, there's a specialty gift shop in Japan when the movie aired and they had limited edition items that you can only get at that gift shop for the movie. So it's just black and it has uh, some crimson red and some gold accents all the way around. And it has the leaves. And right here it says Detective Conan, the Crimson Love Letter. So really, really cool. And the bottom has a, you know, 2017 stamp on it, which is awesome. And the inside is just black and a little bit dusty. <laughs> but this is so freaking cute. Like, this was so, so nice. I really love this. I thought that was so sweet of her. <laughs> and the box is just plain like that. So. And the last item that she got me is super cute as well. She knows how much I love little things and she thought of me as well when she saw this. So this is um, like a, a glass, uh, what are they called? I can't think of the word offhand right now, but they're just like a little uh, souvenir decorative piece, I guess. And I believe she said this was from um, Miyajima, yeah, which is an island next to Hiroshima, which is where she was in Hiroshima. So yeah, and in here is a deer. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. And it's super nice and it has like, you know, these diamond cuts type of design all the way around it. And because the base is green, the top kind of like reflects all these colors. It might just be because of the glass as well, but that is super nice. And it's like super, super cute. Oh, look what it does with the background. So fun. <laughs> I absolutely love this though because I love miniature things. Well, it has my oily fingerprints all over it now, but I really love this. Can it focus a little bit better? see okay yeah there there's the deer and underneath the deer by his feet has a little bit of writing and i believe it says miyajima in uh japanese so and this little box was super cute that it came in so yeah and that is all the lovely items that i got from japan i didn't go to japan but i still got some cool authentic items and i'm really thankful for her to get me all these lovely lovely things she got tons of stuff um from me as well in return and her birthday is coming up so she got spoiled as well with some, with some goodies so a nice a nice exchange of goodies all the way around so yeah i'm really really happy i really love everything that i got she was so sweet and she had a really great trip in japan as well and that will conclude this video this is everything that i got from her so thanks for watching guys